Aaron. I'm Aaron Ma, and I'm 11 years old. I love robotics, self-driving cars, flying cars, machine learning, web development, and iOS development. I am the youngest 3X Yassi graduate, and I'm also the youngest Coursera graduate with over 80 certificates and two with honors. I'm also the youngest Baidu Apollo Auto contributor, and also the youngest TensorFlow contributor. It got me interested in self-driving cars because of two reasons. The first reason is that with self-driving cars, we can actually save lives. Every day, there is more than 10 traffic accidents. But with self-driving cars, if we create safe self-driving cars, of course, um, then we can definitely make self-driving cars available for everyone, which means that everyone will have self-driving cars and there won't be any more traffic accidents. And everyone becomes a happy earthling. The second reason is that I think it's pretty cool that a car can actually drive itself without anyone controlling the wheel. Now that I'm a qualified self-driving car engineer, the first thing I want to do is earn $100,000 from somewhere like Kickstarter or Indiegogo and purchase all of the materials required to make a real self-driving car. And right now I'm also writing the software for it. It's really an honor to be the youngest Udacity graduate ever and also the youngest self-driving car engineer. I would like to thank a lot of people. For example, I'd like to thank Lawrence Morney, Tracy Lee, um, Sebastian Vitalik, my family, um, Sebastian Thrun, and also a lot more people. And I'm really blessed to work with all of you. The final part of the program was the most exciting part because that's when I got to build a real self-driving car using RAWs. I worked with a team to actually build the self-driving car, so I assigned everyone a role. So one person would be the person writing the readme, documenting everything that we were doing. One person would be testing my code that I've written on different versions of Linux. And one person would be writing all the functional safety stuff and also writing the report on how we made our self-driving car. Without my mentors, um, right now I might still be stuck in the NanoRe program. For example, um, in the behavior cloning part, where I had to um, cl basically cl clone a human's behavior while driving, um, I received this really weird TensorFlow attribute message. And after Stack Overflowing, it, it still didn't get any results. So I basically asked my mentor, Barris K, about hmm, I have this TensorFlow attribute here. Can you help me fix this? And basically, like, within 12 hours, he just um, told me that I was using the wrong TensorFlow attribute and I should change it from this attribute to this attribute. And after following his advice, I basically passed the project and also fixed that error. So thank you, Barris K. So I would like to give some advice to future students. Never give up. Because once you give up, then it's gonna be really hard to pick that subject or what you're trying to learn back up again. So in your nanogate program, when you're like really low, I suggest that first of all, you should listen to some music. Like my favorite would be Ludwig van Beethoven's Sympathy No. 5. And my second advice is basically close your computer and come back after a few minutes or hours, and then you might already know, hey, this is the error.